Hey what's up guys, welcome to the 5th Selenium WebDriver tutorial. Again my name is Abhilash and uh, in this tutorial we are going to see how we can use some more Selenium IDE commands and uh, save the test suite that is the combination of the test cases that we have uh, created in uh, previous tutorials. So basically we need to save the test suite so that uh, once we close the selenium ide and if the test cases are not saved in a test suite then the selenium ide will not remember which are the test cases that were opened in the previous session and also to group them to group the test cases in the test suite we save the test cases in a particular test suit so that it becomes easy to recognize the group of test cases that we are supposed to execute so basically if you see if we close the selenium ide and open it again uh, all the test cases that were opened in the previous session are not included in this session so basically we can uh, quickly add those test cases open remove this untitled test case and uh, these are the test cases that uh, we have created in the previous tutorials so we can quickly save the test cases in a particular test suite so we go to file save test case give uh, a name so let's say test suite and save it so as you can see a file that is a test suit will be created so basically if you close this selenium ide and open it again so uh, again you do not have the set of test cases but then if you want the same test cases to be open again we can uh, quickly open the test suit instead of adding each test case again so basically we can open this test suit this is the test suit that we had saved and this is the way you can get your uh, saved test cases in a test suit okay so we'll see some more selenium ide commands in this tutorial so as you have remember as you can remember we have uh, a test one that is it was uh, logging in into our login page so basically it used to open the url uh, type the username and password and click on login okay so we can quickly run this and as you can see username password and login so in this uh, tutorial we are going to see how we can uh, verify whether this text that is displayed is correct or not so we have a command called verify text as you can see this verify text will uh, verify the text that is present on a web page it takes the target as uh, the id of uh, the web page element or any kind of locator method which will locate the web page element that we are going to verify so basically quickly we can uh, check out the locator of that uh, text in the firebug so again firebug is a firefox add-on and you can quickly install it so as you can see the id is a result so basically we can quickly copy this and in target we specify id as a result and value will be copied from here the same value that we are uh, going to verify so that's it as far as verify text is concerned so we can uh, quickly save the test case save test suit okay and we can uh, execute this test case so as you have seen this verified text is highlighted in green that means uh, it has passed so as you can see verified text id result is uh, logged in and test case has passed successfully so basically even if you execute this command it will pass the test case 
set has verified the text in id equals result and the text is logged in so we can quickly uh, check out one of the one more feature of uh, selenium ite that is executing the entire test suite till now we have uh, executed a individual test case as you can see we have already saved the test cases in a test suite we can uh, execute the test suite so that uh, one by one all the test cases will get executed so starting with test 1 if you click on this executing a test suite so basically it will execute the first test case okay it has stopped over here since uh, there was some problem in the execution of uh, that particular command okay let's just quickly remove this test case from this uh, test suite and again this one since it is not opening any URL so let's just uh, execute only two test cases for simplicity okay one will open the web page and uh, login and verify the text and another will refresh the page and it will pause for five seconds and it will log in again okay so basically let's uh, open a new tab and okay if you play the entire test suit again so it will execute the test one first and now it is executing test four so as you can see all the steps are being taken uh, being executed one by one in selenium ite So the last one is echo of uh, store location and uh, title. So as you can see, uh, it has uh, printed the URL and uh, the title. And uh, as you can see in the end, we have a test case passed that is for test four and the entire test suit has completed. That is two played and all passed. So basically in this way, you can also execute the entire test suit and if you have multiple test cases in a test suit it will be executed in a sequence so that's it in this tutorial we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one